Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea. And my name is Gabe, and we have a good lesson for you today. We are learning about taking care of things, and today that is also a key word, so let's learn them together. Take care of. Take care of. Manny can't go out tonight. He's taking care of his baby sister. Feed. Feed. Can you feed the fish? They need some food. Pet. Pet. Brooke has many pets. She has two dogs, three cats, and five fish. Watch. Watch. Please watch the baby. I need to go to the other room. Okay, I'm not really going anywhere. Let's look at these words one more time. The first one is take care of. Take care of. Feed. Feed. Pet. Pet. Watch. Watch. Great job, everyone! Now let's go see our friend Eddie. Yeah, uh, I, I want a pet. Hmm, well, Eddie, you are a pet. No, yeah. I want a pet. Oh. Well, you have to take care of a pet, Eddie. Yeah. Well, feed the pet, watch the pet. Can you do that? Uh, maybe not. Okay, I don't want a pet. Okay. I, huh. I, well, you, we want a mission. Yeah. Okay, the mission. Here's the mission. What does Ben want Sarah to do? What does Ben want Sarah to do? Well, what do you want to do? You want to watch Conversation A? Okay, here we go. Ben, no. Stop asking me. Please, Sarah. No. I can't do it. Do what? Ben wants me to take care of his cockroaches. I'll only be gone a few days. I just need someone to feed them. Come on, Sarah. Well, this is a fun conversation. We see Sarah and Ben, and Ben really wants Sarah to do something. What is it? Well, Ben wants Sarah to take care of his cockroaches, and I really think that she should take care of the cockroaches. You do? Yes. Well, I really think that we should look at the answer to today's mission. No way. Yes, let's do it. The question is, what does Ben want Sarah to do? What does Ben want Sarah to do? Ben wants Sarah to take care of his cockroaches. But Sarah does not want to, and Sarah, I understand that. Taking care of cockroaches is not very fun, but it is fun to learn what this means. It's our key word. Take care of. Take care of. When you take care of someone or something, you make sure everything is okay. You make sure that they have everything that they need. So let's use this phrase. Please take care of my son while I am away. Take care of him. You can ask someone to take care of your house. Please take care of my house while I am on vacation. And so Ben wants Sarah to take care of his cockroaches and make sure that they are doing well. He wants her to feed them. Right, she has to feed them if she takes care of them. Well, what does this mean? Our keyword is feed. Feed. When you feed someone or something, it means that you give them food. You usually feed something or someone who can't eat by themselves. That's right, so a mother might feed her baby some food, the word feed. You also feed animals, like you feed a cat or you feed a dog. Ben, cockroaches 
are not pets. And I have to take care of Al. Al? Who's Al? My baby. See, he's sleeping now. Isn't he cute? Aw, what a cute little guy. It's a bag of flour. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to take the dogs back to their owners. Hey, Simon, could you watch my cockroaches for me? I guess so. At least I won't need to walk them. That's pretty funny. Simon says, at least I won't need to walk them. Now, if you remember, what kinds of things do you need to walk? Well, you need to walk dogs and other animals that need exercise, but you don't have to walk cockroaches. No, that's right. You don't have to walk cockroaches. And Sarah says that cockroaches are not even pets. So, of course, you wouldn't have to do something like walk them. But let's look at this key word. The word is pet. Pet. A pet is an animal that you take care of. A pet. You keep a pet at your house. A pet is like part of your family. You can have a turtle as a pet or a dog as a pet. Some people even have pigs as pets. That's right, and Sarah doesn't think that cockroaches are pets, but maybe Ben does. Ben really wants to take care of them. He wants someone to watch them. So let's look at this word. The word is watch. Watch. To watch something or to watch over something means to take care of it. When you watch someone's pet, you make sure it has everything it needs. Song time. Okay, one, two, three. Song, song time. time. Woo! Yes, it is time for today's song time. Yes, it is. Are you ready for today's song? This song is cool. This song is special. It's a good song. It's a great song. Now, gee whiz, what is the name of this song? It's up to you. Uh, it's up to me. No, no, no. It's up to you. Oh, so you want me to decide the name of the song? No, Driz. The name of the song is called It's Up To You. Oh, okay. I understand. Yes, and as we learned before, it's up to you means it's your choice. Nobody else can make the decision for you. It's up to you to choose. Well, it's up to us to teach you about this song, but friends, it is up to you to choose to listen carefully and to get ready to learn something. Living day by day. In the same old way. Gee whiz, that is from today's song time. Yes, it is. Living day by day. Let's look at these words in the same old way. If you do something in the same old way, that means the way you do something doesn't change. It's always the same. The same old way. And this is a good phrase to talk about doing something. You do something in a kind of way. For example, I'm going to say hello to Gay, but I'm going to say hello in a friendly way. Hello, Gabe. Well, hi, Andrea. And now I'm going to say hello to Gabe in another way. I'm going to say it in an excited way. All right, here we go. Hello, Gabe. <laughs> Hello, Andrea! <laughs> Woo! I like that way. Now let's try another way. This time I'm going to say hello in, well, in a sad way. Oh, hello, Gabe. Hello, Andrea. Wow. Well, That's Gabe, really sad, it, isn't it? It is sad, but I'm not really sad. I just wanted to show another way. Well, what are you doing today? And how will you do it? 
Don't just do it in the same old way. Try to do things differently. Now, let's get back to the song. Yeah, Gabe. Why don't you sing the next part? All right. It's time for you to know stepping out is the way to go. And this is a good phrase. Stepping out is the way to go. Now, when you step out, that means you do something that is not easy. It's difficult to step out. Now, let's look in our song, Stepping Out is the Way to Go. Well, that means that doing something good for someone else is not always easy, but it's something you should do. Stepping out means not just thinking about yourself. It means thinking about others. That's right. So if there's someone new at your school or new at your office, you should step out and be friendly to them, even though that's not a very easy thing to do sometimes. Well, that is true, but you know, stepping out doesn't have to be hard. All you have to do is say, hello, new person. Nice to meet you. Even if you just smile at someone, it's a way to show them that you care and it makes that person feel special. So step out because stepping out is the way to go. And lonely souls with doubt and fear needing a word of joy and cheer. Lonely souls? Gabe, are you a lonely soul? Well, I am lonely sometimes. Are you lonely sometimes? Maybe you need a word of joy and cheer. That is, a word of encouragement. That's right. Say something nice to someone. Give them some joy and cheer. And let's go right now to our joyful and cheerful song, It's Up To You. Conversation Replay. Ben, no. Stop asking me. Please, Sarah. No. I can't do it. Do what? Ben wants me to take care of his cockroaches. I'll only be gone a few days. I just need someone to feed them. Come on, Sarah. Ben, cockroaches are not pets. And I have to take care of Al. Al? Who's Al? My baby. See, he's sleeping now. Isn't he cute? Aw, what a cute little guy. It's a bag of flour. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to take the dogs back to their owners. Hey, Simon. Could you watch my cockroaches for me? I guess so. At least I won't need to walk them. Calendar phrase. 
babe, the rabbit is so cute. It just keeps eating and eating. I like taking care of this rabbit. Well, rabbits seem like they're pretty cute. Wait, does, does it bite? Does it bite? Well, yes, sometimes it bites. But that's our calendar oh. phrase. Does it bite? Does it bite? Now, before you touch an animal, this might be a good question to ask. Does it bite? You want to be careful, right? Exactly. But you know what's not too dangerous? What's that? The calendar phrase skit. Oh, it doesn't bite. That's right. So let's go see that right now. Does it bite? Does it bite? Whoa, you have a really big dog. Yeah, but it's friendly. Hmm, does it bite? No, it won't bite. But it looks angry. Does it bite? I told you, it doesn't bite. Don't worry, come on. I'm really, really scared of dogs that bite. Does it... Does it bite? No, don't be scared. Look, it likes you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Does it bite? Does it bite? You know, Gabe, sometimes I feel like Eddie is our little pet. <laughs> he is a cute little animal, yes, isn't he? You yes, are Eddie. You are. Yeah. Okay, so Eddie, can you give us the question of the day? <sighs> okay, but I'm not your pet. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Right. Okay. The question of the day. <clears throat> Would you keep a cockroach as a pet? Why or why not? Would you keep a cockroach as a pet? Why or why not? I would keep a cockroach as a pet only if I could use it to scare people when they come. Uh, interesting. Well, you'd have to take care of it and, and feed it. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, friends, think about that and join us again tomorrow here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. Remember, learning English can be fun. That's right. Especially <laughs> Bye -bye. if you've got a cockroach as a pet. Yo.